Hi kids! So in my previous video, we have already studied the classification of software, right? I spoke to you about what is a software, then I have also spoken to you about the types of software, that is the system and the application software, and we have already dealt with the types of system software. So in this video, we are going to see as to what are application software. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this was the system software that you have done and then the interdependency between the hardware and the software and you have also done operating system, the examples of operating system, utility software and we have also seen some of the utility softwares including antivirus, right? So now we come to the new topic that is application software. So application software are basically those softwares children which with which we interact, right? We directly use these uh, softwares on our computer system. So if you look at the definition, the definition says an application software contains a set of programs obviously it is a software so it will be a collection of programs right so it is a set of programs that help users perform specific tasks specific task means perform a particular type of task okay that means a particular type of task can be like if you want to draw on computer then you will obviously use a paint program if you want to let us say play a game uh, or let us say you want to play a PUBG game. So obviously you will open PUBG, right? So that means you are going to perform a specific task on the computer and the software that help you in performing those specific tasks, they only are called as application software okay so you have some more examples like if you wish to create any document you will use ms word for that if you want to do any calculations then you will use the calculator that is present in your computer if you wish to send emails then you will be using the internet facility on their a computer system or if you wish to design any graphics or even for playing games so all these softwares that helps you in interacting with the computer okay or help you in doing things on the computer they are called as your application software okay so I hope the definition for application software is clear so now we move forward when we look at the application software there are various examples for application software just for instance uh, word processor if you wish to type something on the computer then you will you make use of a word processor this basically helps you in making professional looking documents one common example of word processor is your ms office similarly if you wish to make a presentation on the computer you want to depict any idea in a very nice and a presentable manner then we make presentations using presentation software so one most common example is your microsoft powerpoint similarly if uh, you need to send any email then obviously you will connect to the internet using your web browser right so one common web browser which we all are using is Google Chrome and then apart from that if again you have to make any picture or any drawing on the computer then you make use of that graphics software so for that one basic example is text paint okay so these are the various examples of your application software just keep that in mind that application softwares are those softwares which perform a specific type of task okay so now when we talk about application software and system software then you should know the difference between the two so in this slide you can clearly see the difference between application and system software so for system software it says it consists of a set of instructions or programs needed for a computer system to function smoothly okay and then for application it says it is designed to perform specific tasks such as word processing drawing image and editing now the difference here says that your system software will basically help in the smooth functioning of your computer system that means if your system software is not there or if there is some problem then your entire system will not work nicely and smoothly but in application software what happens is since they perform a specific type of job so they have got nothing to do with the working of the computer system okay so the second uh, difference is it provides a platform for users to install and run application software that means it is the system software that will uh, basically help in adding new programs to our 
computer and running of those programs or the application softwares okay whereas application software if we talk about then it only enables the user to communicate with the computer in order to perform tasks okay so uh, these are those application softwares are those uh, softwares with which a computer can communicate directly sorry not the computer the user can communicate directly whereas a system software system software are those softwares with which the users do not communicate directly okay indirectly we uh, come in contact with system softwares but if you say that we can directly interact with the system software then the users uh, are not being able to do so Okay, those are the developer people who have basically worked on developing Windows. They, they are the ones who communicate with the system software. But people like us, we do not communicate with system software. Then it says it works without depending on the application software. And application software, it cannot function without the system software. Now, obviously, this difference we can all make out because since system software is helping in the smooth functioning of the computer, it means without the system software, the computer will not work. The computer will not work means that the application softwares will also not work. Okay, if the system software is not there. So system software is very important and that is how system software is different from application software. Okay, so when we talk about application software, application software is further classified into general purpose and specific purpose softwares. Okay, so uh, so far the classification has been like this. First of all, we talked about softwares. Okay, then we uh, said that there are two types of softwares, system software and application software. Then we have already dealt with the types of system softwares that is operating system and your utility software okay now we are dealing with application software and the types of application software so but that i'm not going to deal with this topic in this video for this video you will have to wait for one more day and tomorrow i'll be uploading the difference between your general purpose and the specific purpose softwares along with this we will see as to what are the different examples of general purpose and specific purpose and how can we differentiate between the two so till then keep revising and please keep on reading the chapter from the book as well so thank you so much everyone god bless you